Hi DIYers, Joe here from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to interface a Lyric security system as a secondary controller on a Z-Wave network. Now what that means is that, for example, today actually we have a Samsung Smart Things right here that we're going to be talking about. Let's say that you have the Lyric and the Smart Things both installed in your home. If you have multiple lights around the house, as an example, it's going to get kind of messy if you have to include some into the smart things and some into the Lyric. When you set the Lyric as a secondary controller on the Z-Wave network, they'll both be able to see the lights, they'll both be able to activate them, and they're both going to know the light status. Another benefit that you can use uh, with this setup is that the Lyric, it is a robust system, but its Z-Wave programming doesn't include if-then conditions, whereas SmartThings and many other Z-Wave controllers can do that. When you have the Lyric set up as a secondary controller on the network, for any of those if-then programming conditions or any other uh, more advanced scheduling or rules that you can set up on other Z-Wave controllers, they'll actually be able to do that and operate the lights or other Z-Wave devices, the Lyric will be able to see what's going on, and this way you can have them work exactly the way that you want in the house. Another benefit is that the Lyric isn't compatible with certain Zero devices that are compatible with other Z-Wave controllers. When you have the Lyric set up as a secondary controller on the network, they won't be able to necessarily see the devices or activate them, but at very least, the programming that you do on the primary controller that controls those non-compatible devices, you can mix those into other devices that are compatible with the Lyric to get the most out of your Z-Wave system. Um, if you do program it with the smart things, one caveat is that you can interface or enroll the uh, Z-Wave devices on either the smart things or on the Lyric. Most situations, when the Lyric is set up as a secondary controller, it can't include or exclude devices Normally, only the primary controller on the Z-Wave network is able to do that. Now let's take a look at actually how to interface it with the smart things as a secondary controller. On the Lyric itself, we're going to click on Automation. We're going to click the down arrow. Then we're going to click on Tools, Advanced Tools, and enter your installer code. The button that we're going to use to learn it in as a secondary controller is the learn button right down here. One thing that you're going to want to do before you do this action is remove any Zero devices that are on the Lyric from the system. You want it to be totally fresh when you enroll it over. We've seen that it can cause some issues if you do have devices on it. And if you find that your uh, the learning or the joining process of joining the Lyric to the smart things fails, that's one thing to double check on. Now, on the smart things, if we load it up, you can see that we do have a bulb programmed into the smart things. When we join the Lyric as a secondary controller to the system, it's actually going to pass that bulb information over to the Lyric, and the Lyric will also be able to control the bulb. It'll also know the status of the bulb. This will only work with devices that are compatible with the Lyric. Devices that are not compatible with the Lyric You'll be able to program them into scenes and rules on the smart things, and you'll be able to integrate them in scenes and rules with devices that are compatible with the Lyric. So it's still going to track the status of anything that it can see. On this menu, you see we have add a thing. So if we click that, now it's in the learn mode. So with this loaded up, we're going to go with the Lyric, and we're going to click on learn. So you can see it started the process. In a moment, this should show up on the screen and join to the system, but it can take up to 15 minutes for the network to settle and for them to pass all the information needed over to each other. During this time, it's best to just let them sit and do their thing to make sure that nothing uh, goes wrong. After that completes, then you should be able to control the devices from either system and do whatever program that you're interested in. As you can see, it did find the Lyric, so if you click here, we can rename the device if we want to. Click Done, click Save, and then OK. The Lyric also says Done. Now if we head back over to the Lyric system, and we press the back arrow, we click on Switches. As you can see, it's actually seen it as a failed node right now. It's still passing information back and forth between the two systems. As I said before, give it like 15 minutes for it to completely settle and you should be OK. But as you can see, it does see the light switch that is programmed into the smart things. As you go forward, using smart things, you can program devices either to the smart things or to the Lyric. Most case scenarios, you can only enroll them on the primary controller, though. That's another thing to keep in mind.
That's how to set up your Lyric security system as a secondary controller on a Z-Wave network. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call, shoot us an email, head over to our website. Also, we have lots of great facts on this subject. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead and hit subscribe. And if you want to be updated when we post future videos, hit the notification buttons and we'll send you an update. Thanks for visiting and have a great day.